Because I think it's too easy to say, oh, well, today's already shot. Yeah. You know, to kind of throw away time and mm -hmm. say, well, I've wasted however much or, you know, I've been in frantic mode for the last six hours. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stay in frantic yeah. mode. But you don't have to. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Epic Every Day, our weekday podcast for busy, overwhelmed Christians who don't want to live in the insanity and instead want to find freedom and abundance and peace. I'm Liz Frerichs, and this is my husband, Evan. Hi there. And we're so glad you guys are here with us today on this ever so lovely Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> hot in the hot on the countdown to Christmas here. Seriously. Got, like three, days. three, four days, something yeah. like that. It's, it's coming. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this week we are talking about the holidays since we are so close to Christmas and how to thrive in the middle of the holidays rather than survive. And as you guys know, we work our way through the CSCs. They are being calm, surrendered, centered, connected, and complete. So with connected, um, this comes from the Tai Chi principle of being connected to the ground because the ground is where your power is. It's one of the things I love about Tai Chi, actually. Like, everything you're doing, you're doing with the power of the ground. Which doesn't make a lot of sense until you actually do it. Yeah. But, I mean, you can feel like you're punching with your feet, even when you're using mm. your hand. It's the force of the earth. Yeah. Rather than, uh, that sounds so like you're mystical to, weirdness, well, but it's not really. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, if you were... Uh... I mean, if anybody who's built with blocks, I mean, if the tower is not connected to the ground. Right. And if it starts to, like, get off balance, it tips over. I mean, it can't hold itself up. Right. And we so often, we do that in mm -hmm. our lives. Um, we talk a lot in our Tai Chi class about how people tend to carry their energy up, like, above their heads or by their heads. Mm -hmm. Um, if you watch people walking, you can kind of see them like leaning forward a little bit because they're, they're focused on their brains. Part of the process of practicing Tai Chi is to lower your center of gravity, you know, just by lowering, you know, letting your muscles relax, yeah, using structure to really align with gravity. And that's how you connect with the ground. Yeah. You kind of drop into it. Right. And spiritually, and it's kind of the same thing. Like, we, you know, we've talked about on um, Tuesdays, we talk about surrender. And that's, that's a big part of, you know, relaxing your spiritual muscles so that you're letting everything drain through to God. Mm -hmm. And being connected with God is how we get our power. And that, that's what we want. We want to do things with the force of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We, we don't want to go through our day doing only what we can manage ourselves. Yeah, well, we can't. I mean, we wear ourselves out that way, and we also don't get very much done. Right. I mean, we can. We, we yeah. can do it. It's it's miserable, but it's it's obviously it's, we have that choice, you know? Yeah, but it's not the path to peace. Right. Yes, definitely not. Yeah. So when we're talking about connected and holidays, we've got to have that in mind uh, when we go into all the events surrounding the holidays. Otherwise, I mean, like we've been talking about all, all week, we'll uh, just do it in our own strength and our own power and we'll frantically run through it. And Right. Um, there's definitely room for peace, and this is a huge way to make room for that. Mm -hmm. um, and our connection with our family or whoever we're spending the holidays with um, needs to grow out of our connection with God as well. Totally. I mean, without the Holy Spirit, everything we're doing we're kind of trapped in the inconsequential, mm -hmm. you know, because the stuff that's eternal, the stuff that matters, that's done with the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, you see that just reading through the Gospels. I've been reading through Luke lately for my quiet time. And, you know, even when Jesus is healing and stuff, he's healing with the power of the Spirit. He's not just like, all right, I'm, I'm God. I'm going to go ahead yeah. and do my stuff, you know. Yeah. He's still relying on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's amazing that he had to he had to do all the, the same stuff that we have to do to live a spiritual life. Right. I think one of the things that I'm going to try to be aware of this year and just in general, I guess, when I'm meeting, meeting with people is that just spending time together isn't 
um, automatically a connection. Right. It's, it's time together, but it takes more intentionality to, than that to actually make a connection, to make a personal connection for the relationship to grow. Yeah, I think that's really important to think about because, you know, we want, it's kind of like a tree. You know, you have your roots with God, but if you're not bearing fruit, if you're not connecting with other people, like, what's the point, you know? Yeah, right. God's a God of relationship. I mean, his people have always been a group of people, not just one guy. Right, totally. And as we've talked about, plenty of times before, you know, you can't do the one another's by yourself. We need that connection with other people. We're called to be in community. And you're right. If we're just, it's, it's too easy to go to holiday things and be there without being there to just be sitting. It's like people that, you know, butts in the pew, like they're in church, but they're not actually engaged. It's easy to go to the holiday things and then to not engage. Yeah. So I think one of the things that helps me engage with the people around me is to realize they're not just like me because <laughs> I know a lot about me, um, but that's not how everybody relates. Um, and the, who is it that wrote the love languages book? That's been Jerry Chapman. Yeah. Isn't it? I think so. And I think there's five of them, right? Yes. Uh, and they are, I think, uh, gifts, quality time, words of affirmation, uh, touch, and acts of service. I that think. sounds right yeah. to me. One of the things I was thinking of specifically about the holidays is that, uh, cause I grew up, um, uh, my extended family lives out of state. And so seeing them once or twice a year was always fun and special, but it was mm-hmm. so different than my normal life. And the relationship was just on such a different level. Yeah. I think it's easy to fall into that trap of like, Hey, I've seen this person that counts as relationship without actually talking to them. But then I think kind of where you're headed at the love language is, is that for some people that seeing does count. Yeah, I think, and, and it's right. And I want to respect that because I think I've always been more a fan of the, the day in day out kind of relationships. Like the difference between getting your wife a dozen roses on Valentine's day and telling her that you love her and giving her chocolates and yada, yada, yada versus every day being like, Hey, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. The little things. Right. Right. And to some people, the big things matter. And, and I, that's something that I need to accept and acknowledge. Right. Um, and then try to meet people where they're at. Um, and so that's a challenge for this year, I think is, because we neither of us care for much pomp and circumstance. Yeah. And, you know. Um, and if it's not a good conversation, <laughs> it's hard. I think we talked about this at the holidays before when we did our holiday series. Like for me, it is super hard to say small talk is important. Yeah. Like I'm like, I need to have some meat in this conversation. Otherwise, mm-hmm. this is just not yeah. worth it. And some people. That's not true. That's right. It's not true. And some people, um, I've got friends who just like to do stuff and we don't really talk much and, and that's gotta be okay. It's not really my style either. So it's always a challenge because then the people who just want to do stuff and then I'm always like, Hey, how are you feeling? What's going on? How's your wife? (laughs) And it's just like, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's kind of bothers them probably, you know? Right. So it takes, um, it takes work to do the connection Right. And, uh, and, and, you know, my connection with God, you know, he made me with my love languages and he knows me inside and out and he does love me in all the ways that matter to me. And so I can have that relationship with somebody, even if we're not quite on the same wavelength Yeah, and it can be just fine. So when we're in the middle of all the Christmas preparation and crazy, one of the things that I wrote down is how important it is to remember uh, that even if for some reason you get so busy that you don't do your quiet time or you find yourself in frantic mode, that you can change that. Like you can change mm. that in a moment. Yeah. Because I think it's too easy to say, oh, well, today's already shot. Yeah. You know, to kind of throw away time and mm. say, well. 
I've wasted however much or, you know, I've been in frantic mode for the last six hours. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stay in frantic yeah. mode. But you don't have to. Yeah. Well, and, you know, since we are just a few days from Christmas, sometimes we want to throw away the whole month of December and we're like, well, it's not working out this year. It's not going to be a good Christmas. Right. But it doesn't. Uh, that's not true either. You know. Right. Because right now we can get uh, our our connection to our center back and be grounded and and uh, we can use all the CSCs right now. Exactly. And yeah. God's sovereign over all that. I love that. I love that. You know, there's such peace that comes from connecting to the God who is sovereign over the universe, who is, you know, has a third person perspective on the nature of reality and can tell us what's true, has the power to change hearts and affect, you know, things on like worldwide level and inside my heart level, like the macro and the micro both. And the fact that he knows what's going to happen, you know, nothing is a surprise to him. And so when I'm connected to him, there's just such peace and such a, um, I don't know, such a letting go of anxiety because I don't have to worry about the future or worry about whatever. I can just pray and be like, okay, Lord, I cannot take care of this situation, but you can. So please take care of it. Yeah, you know? Please. Yes. Yeah. It's a good act of surrender. Now, as we're ramping into the Christmas here, hang on to stuff. Like, hang on to, like we talked about yesterday, hang on to who you are. Hang on to your connection with God. That's where your power is. Be willing to connect to other people on whatever level they want to connect on because mm -hmm. it takes all kinds of people. Yeah. And you can meet them where they're at without losing your sense of identity. It just means you're, you're being a good friend, a good family member. Right. You're not abandoning yourself. <laughs> exactly. All right. We love you guys and we are praying for you. Just as a, another reminder, our class is going to be coming. Mm -hmm. So well, we're gonna, that. yeah, we're gonna put out a survey first, and then we'll ramp up to the class, right? Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're still trying to figure it out. We've never done this before, but we are working on it, and we're learning a lot. And we have to use the CSEs every <laughs> step of the way this because um, we really want this to work and be good. Mm -hmm. But we also know that the first draft, the first time, it won't be the the best time, but it will at least be the first time. <laughs> Which we gotta have, gotta have the first time, where you can have the the second time. Thanks to everybody that's been sharing the show. We really, really appreciate it. If you have found this podcast helpful, please do continue to share the show because the more people that are living in the CSCs, the better we all are. Mm -hmm. um, the better. The tighter the, tighter the family of God. Yeah. The more connected the family of God. Totally. All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya. See ya.